Uh, Tell me about Tessie when she was, uh, <laughs> I was Tessie? a I teenage out. girl. Made well, my mother and father go crazy. I don't know. Very bad. Very bad. No, not bad. Not bad. I she was. Her, her, I just her ways, you know I mean? didn't like the old Italian ways. I wanted to be like my friends, you know, from school, able to maybe bring a boy home and introduce. But you're not allowed in the Italian houses. You have to go out, meet them, and well, I just defied them. On my first date, I didn't take a key, and I came home at three in the morning. <laughs> and we were really at those days. It wasn't like now, you know. We were in a place, dancing and just having fun. And when I got home, I said, he said, good night. I said, no, not yet. I have, I have no key. He said, well, how come you don't have a key? I said, we're not allowed. So I said, what are you going to do? He, I said, well, my sister lives around here. I am not going to attempt to get in that house. I said, if I ring the bell, my father will kill me. So I went to ring the bell. She was only two blocks away. And she wasn't home. She had a fight. She had Billy with her and went to my mother's house. So the poor man came down. He said, well, you can come upstairs. I said, well, I'm going to because I'm not going home now. In the meantime, Frank ran away. He said, this woman's a little crazy. I'm getting mixed up with this. So he went, and I went upstairs. And I stayed overnight. We just sat and talked. He told me all about the fight, you know. I said, well, that happens to everybody. And I went home the next day, and I had to hear it from him anyway. Oh, my father. Do you remember Grandpa? He yes, was strict. He was strict. Now, Angie, you told me the last time I talked to you that uh, your father had it in special for Tessie. She, he watched her. Yeah, true. Oh. You see, oh. the trouble, the difference between me and uh, between us, or yeah, I didn't, Margie was very quiet. She really never went out. But that I did it out in the open. She used to throw a fur coat out the window to meet Charlie, and then she'd wear a, an old shaggy coat coming down the stairs. Now, that was the difference. See, I didn't have a, She I, was scared. She was more uh, funky than me. Right? I wasn't, yeah. I was, I was always afraid of my mother and father, especially my mother. I was afraid more of my mother than my father. Because my you can fool no willies over my mother. My mother knew all of anything you do. Well, Mama but, wasn't uh, strict. She me. wasn't afraid. She wanted to go out, she'll go out and come home late. Well, because I thought that it's better to be but out not me, I'd be afraid to come home. I had no choice. I, I couldn't go anywhere anyway. I had a, a kid, I was raising a kid too. Besides going to work, you know, my mother gave me a hand. Well, what did your mother think when you married Bill Lyons, who wasn't Italian? They weren't happy. They weren't happy. They weren't all. happy because they they, they said that uh, he was so much much older than me. That, you know, they he said, "Where is she your?" She could have had anybody. Where she is your daughter come off? Real, you know, not because of professional men. I thought she was uh, very yeah. beautiful. She, my mother and father wanted me to marry her, like a professional man, a doctor or something, you know. But uh, they couldn't see a man driving a truck, you know what I mean? For a living, you know what I mean? But um, most of all, it was with the age. They used to stop my mother and say, my God, don't you see your daughter's going out with a much older man? Can't you do anything about it? But she never came forward. She kept it inside. And when she had the opportunity, she used to tell me, you know what I mean? I, I mean it went into one ear, not the other. Oh, when it comes to being thick, she takes the cake. I had to get married, and then it ended. What, what do you think is the most important thing for future generations to know about your parents? Strong. They were strong. They worked hard. And there's oh, yeah. much love, much for everybody. Very hard. Right. But they cared a lot about us. You know, it's just that they couldn't afford certain things, but that didn't stop love. What we what we went through, uh, to, 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 you know, to see all these things that uh, a person went through and that, uh, the difference in today. And yet to live, I mean, Grandma was 79 and my father was 86 when they passed on. So I think that was, for all they went, you know, hard work and never had any conveniences. They did everything themselves. Someone who, someone who's never met Carlos and Vincenza, and they, 
and they wanted to know who these people were. What, who, what would you say to someone who has never met Carlos and Vincenzo? They want to know who, who are these people. What would you say to them? I would say uh, I want, uh, my, my, my family. How would you describe them? To yeah, them? it's a pretty family. And how would you describe them? Fabulous. The what? Yeah. How would you s describe mom and pop? You know, we had a beautiful childhood. You know, oh, it was spite a, of all that. It was it, it was beautiful, even though we lived in Just poverty. Knowing the bread man used up. to bring up this big basket of bread for us. We never oh, bought it was bread in the store. Exciting. It came in baskets and uh, yeah. It was very exciting, even though you know it was uh, we had hard times, you know, poverty and everything. But it was, it was, we survived. We lived. The part that was heartbreaking was when the war broke out, and her sons, my mother had, uh, all her sons had to go to war. Four of them. Well, Bill went when it was over, but Ernie and uh, Tony and Joe were actually in the war. There were two Navy and two soldiers. So she had it, and she had my husband in the Army. She used to worry about that. So it, it was hard in those days. Um, Uncle Tony, he was young, you know. He's uh, 15 months uh, younger than me. And that boy, if we, we were so poor. We were living on Cherry Street, you know. This, uh, he used to go. <laughs> jump on a horse and wagon, help a man, you know, deliver and stuff. And then at night, this guy used to get him left potatoes, onions, apples, and he used to come home every night with a bag to my mother. Then he used to go on a coal truck. He had to deliver coal. And he used to bring coal to my mother because we had a coal stove. That's, that, that, that's way back, you know what I mean? Coal stove. <laughs> Can you believe it? And he was a very, very great help to my mother, how he struggled to make a dollar. And then he used to ask, could I take this stuff home for my mother? All the everything they had left over on the wagon, horse and wagon. He used to go on a horse and wagon. Uh, one, one last thing about uh, uh, Ida, your sister we have, Ida. We kidnapped your wife for a while. Right. <laughs> and uh, about Ida. Ida. My dear girl, well, Ida. He, I think he went on a... Are you no, 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 your sister Ida. Yeah, she's very nice. You mean uh, how she was with us? How did she your, die? No, your real sister. Oh! Your sister. Ida. How old was she? Oh, my, our sister. She died from an infection of uh, the stomach because she loved all the, she used to love cheese too much, you know what I mean? How old was she? She was six years old, and uh, too much of that cheese. I would have never been here had she lived, I think. They gave, it gave her dysentery that uh, it did something to her stomach that she died from that, from eating a lot of cheese. She loved cheese. She died at six years old. Oh, I was, and I thought you said I did the other that, you know, this, her name was, was, was uh, pronounced Ida, Ida, not Ida, Ida. How would you spell that? Uh, capital I, D, A. Well, that's Ida. Ada. Ada. I think it was A, I, D, A, maybe Aida. Aida. Like that opera? Aida. Aida. No, 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 Aida, the opera is Aida. This is not, this was Ida, Ida. <laughs> 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 look at that, Marianne, look at all.